Hey guys, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create titles in Premiere Pro two different ways. We're gonna be using both the Legacy Title Tool and the Essential Graphics Panel to create titles in Premiere Pro today. They both have pros and cons when it comes to editing recipe videos. I have one that I prefer over the other, but you might prefer the other one. It's really up to you and what makes your workflow faster and easier for you. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Let me know if there are any other tips or tutorials that you would like me to cover, and let's dive in. I'm going to show you two ways you can create titles in Premiere Pro. The first is my personal favorite, which is with legacy titles. I have a bin here called titles and you can see I've set up a template with all of my most commonly used ingredients. This helps save time and I can show you how to set that up. But if I want to create a new one, I'm going to make sure I have titles highlighted. I'm going to go file new legacy title. And what we're working on here is a recipe for black bean burgers and you can see it starts with olive oil. So I'm going to call this olive oil. You can see I already had olive oil in my template but just for the sake of showing you how this works I always need to adjust these windows to see what I'm doing but you want to make sure that you are on your title tool, your type tool, and you can choose from one of these legacy title styles down here or you can create one that's your own to help save you time. So I will show you how to do that. I'm going to click inside here and write olive oil, highlight it and choose an easy to read font. Let's say I want Arial black in regular and let's say I want 120 points. You can come over here on the left and center your title and if this is the style of title that I want to use on all my titles in the video I can go to this little hamburger menu here and create a new style and you can either leave it named as is if that's easy for you or we could say black bean burger titles and that has a spot down here now and you can drag this around to make it easy to find if you want it to be the first one it looks like it's a little gray so I'm gonna come in here to the color yep it's a little gray so I'm just gonna drag it all the way down to the corner to make it white and then I'm going to go down here on the left and drag it over into my timeline above my video footage to create the title and you can adjust how long you want it to be. This is a legacy title. So the thing about legacy titles is let's say I have olive oil used later in my recipe as well. I can drag that legacy title over here. If I go in and decide well I want this one to be red. I wouldn't want to do that but just as an example, if you wanted to change the size or the font or anything about it. If you then come back to the first one, that one will also have the change. So any changes you make to the legacy title over here will appear anywhere that that title appears in your sequence. What I like about legacy titles is, and I'll show you this in a minute, if you are creating sequences for multiple platforms like Instagram or IGTV, like a square or taller, the legacy title will stay the same. It will be the same size. It won't change at all when you change the sequence setting, which is different from the other option, which is the graphics panel. So over here, I clicked on graphics up here at the top, and then you can find your type tool here the title we want here is onions, so I'm going to click there, type onions over here on the right. Sometimes it'll be in browse and you will just need to click on edit and your title in order to make changes over here. The main things you're going to do here are change the font if you want 
Let's see. Let's see, we want Adobe Clean at 120 points. This one is already white and I can center it. It does look like it needs a shadow a little bit. It's not quite standing out, but this isn't a great title. But just to see how it works in the Essential Graphics panel. The thing about these, and I will adjust it over here, is you can highlight it in your timeline. Copy, which I like to use Command C. And then if I lock V1, my first video layer, I can go down here and just paste it to create more titles. So then I can click on the next one and say this is red bell peppers and center that. This one is garlic. So that's a pretty fast way to add titles is you can just copy and paste as many titles as you need and go in and change the text. The thing about the essential graphics are if you are changing the size of your sequence, the size of the graphics will change as well. So let's go find our sequence. We're in Black Bean Burger Long Titles. I'm going to make a copy of that. No, nope, I'm going to duplicate it, sorry. And then I'm going to make sure it's highlighted. Go in and change the sequence settings to 1080 by 1080. And you can see the essential graphics are small now. So we would have to go in if we wanted them bigger and change the size to make them look how they looked in the 16 by 9. You can see here, that one's still red, but the size hasn't changed. Nothing has changed about it. It's still centered. It's up to you which one works better for you. I definitely think for recipe videos where you're creating a lot of different versions, the legacy title is the way to go. And setting up a template with your most commonly used ingredients will help you save time, or at the very least creating a saved style in the legacy titles like I showed you down here will also help save you time. That's it guys. I would love to know which title tool you prefer to use in your videos. This is all part of a series building up to helping you create the most efficient workflow possible for editing your videos so it moves faster for you, it feels easier, and you can get on with the hundreds of other tasks you need to do as a food blogger. This is just one place I can help you and I'm happy to do so. So please, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up hit subscribe, head over and join our Facebook group or leave a comment on the blog if there are anything, if there's anything else that you want me to cover in these videos. Other than that, I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.